Hi, welcome to 1 in 10. My name is Trev Day. Today I ran into a very strange issue where I turned the pump on. We had gone away on a trip. We came back and um, I was just cleaning it up and I was getting it ready for the next trip. And I turned on the faucets in dry camp mode and I can hear the pump going but I, I have no water. And I was scratching my head for about an hour trying to figure this out. I finally fiddled with some levers and got it to work. I don't know how that worked, but it worked. And uh, I'm th very thankful. But if you ever run into this issue, maybe this could be uh, one of the things you could try. And it could be because the pump wasn't priming. Even though they say it's a self-priming pump, I find that it, it didn't. This is the first time I had this issue, but I was very glad that I got this resolved. So, like I said, it's from a Jayco 321 RSTS. If you ever have this issue, maybe you could solve the problem. So I had a little problem here this morning with this uh, Jayco Eagle. I, we came back from our maiden trip and I was cleaning stuff out because I like to tidy everything, vacuuming here, make sure no sand and all that in there. But um, So I put some water in to the tank to test the dry camping mode and I went inside, turned the pump on and run some water and I can hear the pump going but no water coming out and I started getting a little worried I thought don't tell me I broke something or something is broken so I pull this panel out here just to see if there's any water or anything in the, where the pump is located in the 321 and it's in there and I crawled in from the other side stuck my head in there nothing looks unusual and uh, so I filled some more water up went inside running it again Taps turned on, no water coming out. Um, when I hooked up the hose like it is now, um, I have filtered water, water softener in my house, so I hooked this up directly, no issues. Uh, by the way, as a side note, when I'm not running it from home, I bought this water softener. It's a portable one, and that white hose goes in there, and the blue hose from the source goes in the other side and I usually keep it right right here when I'm traveling I take it out and put it over here which is a good storing spot for it and it seems to be it seems to work okay for me but anyhow get, getting back to the point here I went in here and I I had this thing set to um, dry camp which it is right now and I had it set to city water and it worked fine with city water. I got water inside the trailer. But when I sw flip it back to dry camp, nothing. I can hear the pump going, but nothing. And the pump is on right now, but it's not running. I'll tell you how I solved this problem. I flipped this blue switch downwards. And as you can see, that's not one of the options. It's either green to the left, blue, to the, blue down for sanitize. Green to the left, blue down for tank fill. Dry camp, green down, blue to the right. And here are your other options. When I flicked the blue switch downwards, I heard a sound, and uh, that seemed to have solved the problem. I did it for about 10 seconds, flick it back up, and I heard the pump going, and then the, made a, a louder sound, and it stopped. And I thought, uh-oh. Went inside, and I turned the uh, water on, and it worked. It primed it for some reason. So what I'm gonna, listen to the sound of the pump. You hear that sound? When I stopped, the water, the pump stopped, and that's the way it should work. I'll do this again. You hear the pump? Water off. Pump stop. Anyhow, I'm not sure why that solved the problem for me, but it did. I'll have to look into the schematics of why blue and green downwards seem to have solved this problem. I will get back to you once I figure that out. If this is something you were worried about, um, that could be a quick fix, okay? Talk to you later.